Now then, let's go up to the finish, because here comes Theo Gegenhardt, and this could be the serious time. Stefan Kung with a 41-28. Remember, Kung was flying in the final part of this course. Gegenhardt's coming to the line. Kung looks on. It's a nervous moment again for the Swiss, who still, still has not yet won a stage of a Grand Tour. He's tried, he's given everything. And Theo Gegenhardt is the latest rider who could break his heart. Time ticks on, and it's by two seconds. Stefan Kung, but from the podium, Theo Gegenhardt is the new leader. News from the last check there. The second check, pardon me. Remco Evenepoel only two seconds faster than Garrett Thomas there. So has he gone out too hard? Let's see. Ah, oh, in the meantime, you feel for that man, don't you? Well, again, as we mentioned in the earlier part, you know, he's been in this situation where, you know, leading for quite a long time in the hot seat, and then, you know, the riders, uh, the GC men, uh, often be the case where they come along and bump him off. And uh, Theo Gegenhardt, I don't think he'd be thinking of him to beat him in the time trial. That performance from Theo there, it's, it's a big one. Mm. Uh, I think Roglic, I oh, know, sorry, um, uh, Kong will be thinking of the men out on the road, like of Roglic and Evan Poole, the ones they'd be worried about. So much drama unfolding. Theo Gegenhardt is the new leader. We await his teammate, Garay Thomas, because they were neck and neck. In fact, it was three thousandths of a second quicker for Garay Thomas at the third and final time check. Thomas there making his way, and that's the time trial of his career for Theo Gegenhardt. You say even more of a top performance when you see who he's ridden against here than when he was in the Maya Rosa. We're hearing, too, that uh, Primoz Roglic has taken a couple of seconds back at the second time check on Remco Evenepoel. Well, that's an interesting one, and, uh, you know, it was always a question with uh, Roglic, you know, uh, how was he feeling at the point when he went through that fourth intermediate checkpoint? This is the final checkpoint for Roglic. Of course, he gets there before Evenepoel. And it's quicker than Vlasov. He's getting a little quicker now. He's being roared on through the streets of Cesena. But let's go to the finish, because what a day it's been for the Ineos Grenadiers. Each and every one of their riders has been flying. Geraint Thomas has been quicker than most so far through the time checks. He set the fastest times. Can he carry it to the finish? 450 metres to the line, 41 minutes, 26 seconds is the time to beat. It's been a while since we've seen a Geraint Thomas Grand Tour stage win. He came into this on the build-up and on the back of a few months where he had illness, where he had injury. It wasn't perfect approaching the Giro, a race that has often dealt him a tough hand, but here he is. Reaching the finish line, the time ticks by, and he's going to take the lead. A second quicker than Theo Gegenhardt. What a one-two so far. And Geraint Thomas gets to the end of the first week of a Giro. No danger, no crashes. He's here for the fight, and Geraint Thomas is approaching the right form. He takes the lead, and what a turn-up for the books. Three kilometers to go behind. This is two Ks to go, in fact, now for Primoz Roglic. The excitement's been building nicely today. Started off slow, it started off worrying for this man. But Primoz Roglic has been getting his way into this 35 kilometer time trial. Almeida's just finished. Roglic is the man who's trying to challenge. Garrett Thomas is the current leader. Last one, a time trial when he won the British Championship. That was in 2018. That was the year that he won the Tour de France. Since he's gone on to win the Tour de Romandie without taking a stage, Tour de Suisse as well. 
When he wins, he wins big. And he's won in Italy before, but he's never won a stage of the Giro. He's on for a good one here. Now we go back to Roglic. Now get the times up. You wouldn't imagine the way it's gone that Roglic is going to challenge Thomas here for stage victory. We'll be looking at Roglic versus Evenepoel, I think, in terms of time comparison. Here we go. Roglic, I think, has improved in the second part of this time trial. Geraint Thomas' time is 41.25. Roglic is not going to beat that, but he's going to put in a fairly decent performance in the end. This has gone from pretty bad to not so bad. It was a slowish start against a flying Evenepoel, but Roglic has got into it. He's going to be ever so slightly slower than Bruno Mirai. And his next target there is Tierman Ardensman. Primoz Roglic coming across the line then, still in the game. Roglic there at 41-41, 16 seconds down on Garrett Thomas. And after the start he had there, he will take that, Sean. What a great second half of the time trial. Yes, well, he recovered very well there and you know, looked like it could be a bigger loss for him. But, yeah, the second half. Oh, it's nervous. 20 seconds between Roglic and Evenepoel. If it stays like this, unless Evenepoel can speed up, Geraint Thomas is going to take stage nine of the Giro d'Italia. Yes, and uh, we can see there that um, I think Remco, he did really hit out uh, in the earlier part, you know, very, very strong, and uh, it will be difficult in form to, I think, to make up the ground on uh, Geraint Thomas, so looking like it could be the stage win for uh, Thomas here and Ineos Grenadiers, but uh, the question now is how much uh, will uh, Roglic lose to Evan Poole? It looked like it was going to be possibly a real bad, bad day for him, but uh, now the way it's looking, it looks like that Roglic has really recovered well. Here is Remco Evenepoel with 800 metres to go, head down, Eyes on the finish line. The time is up. Time to beat is 41.25. 500 metres to go. There's still a chance here for Evenepoel. As he managed to put that extra dig in towards the finish line. 30 seconds to get over. It's going to be tense. It's going to be tight. I think that Evenepoel has found something here in the last couple of kilometres. Geraint Thomas looked nervous, looked on, but Remco Evenepoel on Belgian Mother's Day said that he wanted to win for his mum today. He needs to win for his Magliarosa challenge. He's going to be the new leader of the Giro d'Italia. He comes up to the finish line here. Time ticks down. It's going to be tight for the stage win. The second in a week, and Remco Evenepoel's going to do it. One second quicker than Geraint Thomas. Remco does it again. He wrestles back the Magliarosa. Hits back after yesterday's wobble, and the fight for pink is on at this 106th Giro d'Italia. Well, just two minutes ago, it looked like he was waning away from him, but he somehow, somewhere, found something. Geraint Thomas so close to what would have been a first Giro d'Italia stage win in his career. He's had a rotten luck at this race down the years. He's ridden out of his skin today. A man who looked like he'd gone out too hard, found something at the end. And Remco Evenepoel 